Hi everybody. So I got a question from one of my view from one of y'all out there asking, uh, how can you live in a vehicle that's so that's so short? You should at least get a Chevy cargo van. At least you can, you know, you'll have a little more headroom. And for me, I've lived in so many different kinds of vehicles. Uh, I started with the school bus, and in the school bus, uh, I had to put insulation in the floor, and so the ceilings were like 5'11 or, or just under six feet, and I'm six foot one, and so I was never able to fully stand up in that space. And the reality is, is what you, once you're in a smaller space, you don't walk around, like in an apartment or a house where you walk around and do stuff. If you want to walk around, you get out of your van and you go walk around. Because um, you don't have room in your home to do that. And so in the school bus, yeah, I really, I sat on the benches in the kitchen or the um, in the dining room, and I sat over, and I went sat on the bed in the bedroom, or it just was from here to there and back. And if I had to stand up, I had to spread my legs really far apart, kind of like this, so that my head would shorten, or I would just spend all my time like this, walking around like this. And, um, and even then I would get lazy and there were screws up there in the ceiling and I would catch the screw on the top of my head and it'd scrape it and it hurt like heck. And so walking around, even, even in 200 plus square feet, really wasn't an option because of the height factor. And, and then in the Sprinter, I could walk and my head was just, there were spots where I had a little bit of room, like that much. And there were spots my head would just touch standing up. And so, and it wasn't even all the way across like that. The parts I could stand up in, there was uh, a little bit, it, it was a little bit higher. It was a, an internal hump between the ribs where the insulation was and where the ribs hit. And, and normal, it was just, just to scrape my head once all the insulation was in the top and the top and then the subflooring was in. And so I pretty much, when I was there, I ended up doing this the whole time. I walked around like this too, and that gave me, lo it gave me lots of room. And or I spread my legs again and to do things at the kitchen counter. And there was more headroom, but again, when I was in there, I didn't walk around, I didn't stand up. I sat down, I got in, sat on the couch. If Noel was in the front, I went to the back and sat on the, the toilet bench in the back with a pillow under my butt and I didn't walk around. So, and I've talked to other people who say the same thing. Yeah, they have their cargo van. They wanted, to, they thought they need to walk, stand up a lot, but they end up sitting the whole time. And you end up, and so I just took that to the next extreme. I know I have headroom in a minivan to sit. And so there's no reason to stand. Get in, sit down on my bed. And if I need to move around, I just scooch my butt here, there, back and forth, and it's plenty of headroom for me in that in that respect. And if it's not enough headroom, then I get out and I go for a walk with the huge sky above me. And I, it's just kind of the way I've always done it. And this is what I've learned that works for me. So, no, even it, I don't care how tall you are, you don't, you're not going to walk around in a in a Chevy cargo van. They're not tall enough to begin with, but you just you get in you find your spot and you stay there until you do something else so yeah when you live in this life if you want to walk around I, in my apartment I paced I walked around in the house I go do stuff but in this time when you're in that small of a space you just find your spot and stay there until you get out of your van and then you go do other things so I hope that answers the question and yeah six foot one I have more than enough headroom in there I can sit up straight I don't touch my head. I end up laying back on my comfy recliner couch bed most of the time anyway when I'm in there. So, yeah, plenty of headroom for me and, and it's plenty of space. And if it's not, I just go out for a walk. And that's what I'm gonna go, go do right now. So you all have a great day and have a one.